This video is going to be over how to measure angles using a protractor. So first of all, we need to talk about angles. And angles are measured by the amount of turning or rotation that must be done with one side of an angle before it meets the other side. The size of the angle does not depend on the length of its sides, but only the amount of the rotation. So that means, let's look at our little diagram here. Um, if we have this line, and it's here at zero degrees, okay, um, you see right here it says um, zero degrees, okay? Now, as you can see, as it goes up the circle, it's 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 35 degrees, 180, 225, 270, 315, and 360. So, you can see that as you rotate around, the degrees changes. Now, the degrees is what is in here. So if we take our line, our line, whoops, if we take our line and we move it to this 45 degree mark, this rotation right here is 45 degrees. Okay? If we take our line and we move it all the way over here, This total rotation is 135 degrees. So, if you, this is our starting line, and if we move our second line all the way up, that becomes 135 degrees. So that's just basic, um, that's just what our angle is in a, basic, in a basic way. So here we go, we start at zero. Now remember, um, <clears throat> If we're starting here at zero and we go to a perpendicular line, that is 90 degrees. Okay? If we go another 90 degrees, it's a straight line, which is 180 degrees. Another 90 is 270, and then another 90 is 360. So those of you who do skateboarding tricks or bike tricks and you do an entire circle, that you call that a 360 because you're doing an entire circle. So when you do your flip, you're going all the way around. You're doing a 360. So that's all the way around 360. I like to think of this also as faces of a clock. Um, 12 o'clock is 90. So, you know, 90. That's 9 o'clock is 180. You know, the 6 is another 90 degrees, which is 270. And then um, on this particular diagram, the 3 is. Um, zero. But if you start here at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock is 90 degrees, and then a 6 is 90 degrees, a 9 is 90 degrees, and a 12 is 90 degrees. So that's another way you can think about angles. Now, when you're looking at a protractor, this is a protractor. And um, what's important to remember about a protractor is the top and bottom lines. Okay, you see here, this starts at zero and is going up on the bottom. Okay? And then on the top, it's different. You start at zero here, and you're getting bigger as you go this way. Okay? So how do you know how to which number to read? Well, if our angle is starting from this side, it's starting at zero on this side. So you start with the zero on the outer rim, and as you move up, that angle in the middle gets bigger and bigger and bigger. You see, as I move up, those numbers are moving. So now my angle's at 90 degrees. Now my angle's at 70 degrees. If I go past 90 degrees, obviously it's going to be in the hundreds, so we're going to keep going, going, going. Now look how big my angle is. It's 140 degrees. So we're reading the top number. If our angle's opening up from the other side, it starts at zero. And as it opens up, it's getting bigger and bigger, so we're reading the bottom number now. Now we're at 70 degrees. I like to think about this. This is a 90 degree angle, okay? And this is, whoops, let's do that again. Let's erase this stuff so I can see. Okay, this is a 90 degree angle. Okay, and this is what it will look like 
Well, that's 91, but it's close enough. That's 90 degree angle. So just think about this. If it's larger, if your line extends past straight up and down, so this is straight up and down. If your line extends anything past it, you know it's going to be over 90. So on your protractor, when you're looking at it, when you're looking at this, the, you know you're not going to read you're not going to read the top number here because obviously you can see that it's above 90 degrees. You're going to read the bottom number. So that's just another way you can um, read a protractor. So let's practice um, just a couple more. We're just going to... Now if, if you have your angle like this 90 degrees here and you want to measure it and you you know you don't have a protractor that you know you most of the time your protractor is not interactive like mine you have to actually read it so how you read it is you need to put the where the lines intersect on the zero okay so we're going to put that on the on the middle part of the protractor usually there's a zero there okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to follow you're going to follow that line all the way up until it gets even. Okay, and you see then and then you read. You can see that the line is one line past the 90. So this is a 90 degree angle. So when you measure angles, you need to make sure that the center part is at the intersecting lines. And you're just going to follow your line up until you can see what it is. So um let's try some more. Now, what if our angle was crooked like this? Well, how are we going to measure that way? Well, you actually need to turn you need to turn your protractor until it meets the center there. Until it's lined up. So we turn our protractor and then we line it up. Now, now you can follow this line all the way up okay when you follow that line all the way up you see it's right here at 91 degrees so that is how you measure using a protractor um, in your lesson you can cut out a protractor if you don't have one at home and practice measuring angles um, that you have in your lesson if you are still having problems um, using a protractor to measure call your teacher and she can help you out